Hey everybody, this is Simon with Tech Visibility. Today we're gonna go ahead and unbox a very popular uh, computer that just got launched, the Mac Mini. We're gonna see what's inside this thing and I'm gonna give you some of my uh, highlights using the new M1 chip on my MacBook Pros as well for, for video editing and other things that we do here at Tech Visibility. Before I get into this video, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We do a lot of reviews and unboxing videos as well as check out techvisibility.com where we have a lot of product reviews as well as leaks and technology news. And let's get into this video unboxing of this brand new M1 Mac Mini. M1 Mac Mini comes in a standard box. It's basically the same type of packaging you would expect from Apple, a very nice white box that shows what the computer is. This is a space gray version M1 Mac Mini. This one particularly comes with an eight core CPU, 16 gig of RAM, as well as a 512 SSD hard drive. These are made in China and uh, we just received the package today. So overall, uh, I would say that this looks like a big AirPods box. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me because it's very squarish, like a little bit AirPod-ish. You know, I'm used to unboxing the MacBook Pros that we have on our channel. You can check out those videos as well. So far, the MacBook Pros have worked flawlessly. So let's get into this unboxing. All right, we're removing the shrink wrap. Best part of the process, guys. The shrink wrap is off. This is how it looks like. It's a beautiful box. Again, very sturdy packaging. Apple has always had extremely durable packaging. I feel like it's very well protected. And here you have your MacBook Mini. So first impressions, it's a little thicker than I expected. Uh, a little heavy. I'm gonna take a look and see how heavy or we could look at their website for specs. Let's remove the shrink wrap from it. Very traditional shrink wrap packaging here. So you could see that it's pretty standard of Apple. It's like almost like removing an iPad or an iPhone. And here it is guys, this is the MacBook mini. Beautiful. Inside the box, we also get the charger and, um, or the power cable I should say. Pretty standard cable here. Black color, I'm surprised. Usually Apple actually includes white colored cables with a lot of their products. And with this particular product, the cable is black. Lengthwise, I would say it is maybe four feet, maybe, yeah, four feet, um, so maybe three feet. So um, pretty decent cable, thin, flat, and that's it. That's all that comes in here. And that's pretty much for the packaging. So very simple. Inside little pamphlet or booklet, you have your welcome to Mac mini. Now it describes your ports. So there's where the power gets plugged in, a power button. You have two Thunderbolt USB fours in the back. You have your HDMI connection. Then you have your USB A's and a headphone jack here as well. There is a status light that is tiny, which is right here on the MacBook Pro. On the back side of it, you have a nice base for it. It keeps it off the actual table probably for heat and also allows it from not moving. You have this little protection here to protect your connections. We're gonna go ahead and peel that off. And this is how the back of it looks. So you got again, your power plug, power button, ethernet, USB fours, heat sink here. You could tell this is where the heat's gonna come out of and I'm curious to see if that fan is gonna kick on a lot. HDMI, which is really nice so you don't have to use one of the ports and then your USB A's and then a headphone jack. So pretty simple. Now, what I wanted to do is just for size comparison, give you guys an idea of how big this computer is. And I have a scale here that I've used in some videos to weigh out other things. So this is a digital scale by Akai and this is the MacBook mini. And it's pretty much a little bit bigger but almost the same thickness. So pretty impressive to jam a computer into this setup and still be almost the size of an actual scale, which is pretty neat. So excited for that. Obviously, it uh, doesn't matter typically how much it weighs. Um, I would say it's about four pounds 
Um, but overall, it, it, I wouldn't say that matters because it's supposed to be stationary. So today we're gonna run it off an LG 49 inch ultra wide display to set it up. Once I set it up and we get to use it for a while, I'll be able to go ahead and give you guys my honest opinion. So I've been using the MacBook Pro M1 for quite a while. The MacBook Pro M1 chip is super fast. It, the SSD works great. It's very snappy. My only drawback on the MacBook Pro M1 8 core with 16 gig RAM and I have one with one terabyte and then the company has another one with two terabytes is the fact that you cannot run multiple displays. So what we had to do was we had to upgrade our uh, displays, which has actually worked in our favor to ultra wide 49 inch displays by LG or Samsung because it will only run one display. With the MacBook Mini, you're actually able to connect it to two different displays. It will work on two monitor setups. So for a lot of you that have dual displays and don't have an ultra wide, that's a benefit or bonus. Uh, so the MacBook Mini wins in that versus the first generation MacBook Pro only allows for whatever reason, just a single external display. Aside from that, I'm, I'm really excited to get this going. I'll update you guys as we use this MacBook Mini to edit videos and run some tough tasks through it to see how the processor holds up. If it's anything like the MacBook M1 Pro uh, that I have, we will be satisfied. And with the multiple displays, this will be versatile in the office to do lots of different things, including a good potential setup in a conference room for meetings and wireless connectivity, as well as um, just having two monitors in the conference room itself. The price of these guys start at $699 for the eight gigabyte version in memory and 256 gig in the SSD, and they jump up in $200 increments. This particular version has 16 gigs memory as well as a 512 gig SSD because we use a lot of external SSDs uh, to record our videos and so forth. So we didn't need the, the biggest uh, personal storage. I would probably recommend for an entry level Mac uh, mini, if we, you're gonna set it up to use it, say in a conference room, the very basic one for 699 is gonna be fast enough and have enough RAM. If it was a personal MacBook mini, I'd probably get it with around one terabyte in storage and definitely go with the 16 gig memory upgrade so that it lasts you a lot longer. That's just my opinion. If you could afford it, I would do that. All right, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also check out techvisibility.com. That's techvisibility.com. We do a lot of product reviews as well as uh, product uh, news and technology news. And we hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.